I personally mix this whole batch, every single bottle. <laughs> well, me and Marcel. Good hooch puts hairs on your chest, but this stuff, it'll torch them right off. Kira Shine, I like to call it. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll pour this stuff all around the meat spot. Wait for the three musketeers to show up, and boom! Ring of fire! The deal with Braithwaite was no Lemoyne Raider, so it, it should just be the three of them. Awful fancy way. Christ knows who Hickson will bring along with him for the ride, but we do this right. They won't even know what hit them. Sitting ducks. If the blast doesn't kill them, we'll, we'll pick them off one by one from the trees. Pow, pow, pow! Danny Lee, Braithwaite, Hickson. Today's the day we deal with a lot of them. Okay, we're almost there. Park the wagon just ahead where we can get a nice spread of moonshine around. Okay, we have to move fast here. Get the shine off the wagon. We're gonna douse this whole area. Good. All right then, start pouring. We need a nice even trail so when it blows, Hickson, Danny Lee, and Braithwaite ain't got nowhere to go. Special shine. Not the drinking sort. It goes up like hell. All right, move Take on out from there now. Coast. If Danny Lee survives the blast, remember, Aunt Maggie wants him alive. That looks good. Remember, we gotta douse this whole area. I want to make sure that when we spark it, they'll be killed or trapped with nowhere to go. If any of them survive, we'll pick them off from the hiding spot over there. Good job. Yeah, that should be enough for that spot. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, come on, let's find some cover. Where is he? Ooh, the wagon's here. Lamb, it's Danny Lee. Well, this stuff stinks. Well, this is their recipe, I'm not sure I want it. Lamb! You got one minute, Fike. We're out of here. Hold it right there. What the hell is this? You said it was all good. It was. Mr. Caton, I feel like you've been avoiding me. And you must be the Braithwaite. How sad. From prince to peasant. I got guns covering this whole area. Is that a threat? Let me go. I'll call him off. And, and, and you can have Danny Lee. What? Mr. Braithwaite. I can have him. How very kind of you. And I also have $100 right, right here. Well, never let it be said that I'm not a reasonable man. Well, go on, then, if you're going. Why are they letting him go? Really? You're all but finished anyway. I only catch the big fish. Put your goddamn hands up. All right, start moving. God damn you. 
Oh, here he is, the half-wit. It's not really his fault, fellas. His mother drank a lot. You goddamn son of a bitch! Thanks for all this. Didn't you ever wonder why I kept you alive, you born idiot? How's your aunt, by the way? I never got a chance to ask you at the boat. I hear she's looking well. You bastard! <laughs>
Okay, okay, I think this is all gotten a little out of hand now, don't you? You know what they do to people that murder federal agents? I can make that go away. You kill me, you'll be running for the rest of your life. Come on. That frazzled hag is just using you like she uses everyone else. Jesus, I would have... This is our story in her head. 
Oh, the guest of honor. Finally. <clears throat> Give me your knife. You know, I was so looking forward to seeing you that I got you your favorite whiskey. <clears throat> Go on. Give the man a drink. I'm fine. Give my goddamn drink! What do you want from me? You snake! You what? left me to die! What was I supposed to do? Six years. I gave you my trust. My power! Power? Listen to you. You can't see yourself, Maggie. You never could. Oh, I see myself. I can't not see myself. But I won't slink off like a coward. I'll look you dead in the eye. Maggie, please. Get out of here. And I mean so far away, you'll never see me again. I didn't... I mean, I'm... Just go, Danny Lee. Well, here. It is good whiskey. Hickson, good. 